For today's lesson, you need Student Edition pages 56 through 58 and page 64, and Student Activities page 55. Welcome back. Did you see this sticking out of the box today? Hmm. Very soft and fuzzy. I wonder what this is. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a duster. You can use it to dust furniture. Ah, I'll do a little dusting here while I have it. This is a very helpful tool. It helps us get the job of dusting done easily, and it's fun to use. Have you ever dusted the furniture in your house? That's a job that I've done many times, and this is a helpful tool for that job. Well, we're going to start a new unit today and learn about jobs, so take out your student book. Here comes Captain McKay now. Oh, thank you, Captain. It looks like we have two vocabulary words. Let's see. We have the word work. Let me put it right up here so you can see it. Word work. And we have the word sort. I'll set that one up here. So we'll be watching and listening for these words today. Okay, let's take a look at pages 56 and 57 first in your book. All right, here's the title for the unit. It is Jobs. This is Unit 3. And look at all the people over here. Wow, they are workers with different types of jobs. Let's see if we can figure out what some of them are. This girl here. Oh, I see a mat here. She must be a fitness instructor, help people with exercise. Um, oh, here it looks like what? Can you tell? Maybe a scientist. There's maybe a teacher. I think I see a nurse back here, maybe a doctor. Um, oh, a construction worker. See him back there with his hard hat. Um, maybe a chef or a baker. I see some office workers. Well, how do fitness instructors help people with their work, through their work that they do? By helping people stay healthy, helping people exercise. What about scientists? How do they help people through the work that they do? Scientists, mm, they help solve problems. Some scientists might even find cures for illnesses. Well, let's look at our vocabulary words for this unit. Here they are under vocabulary. We have bar graph, consumer, goods, needs, producer, service, sort, technology, tool, trade, volunteer, wants, work. Okay, lots of words in this unit that we'll have to be watching for. So go ahead and turn the page and let's get started. Okay, let's read this page together. It says, a job to do. God made people to work. When we work, we use energy to get a job done. Did you hear the vocabulary word? I heard it for work. And what is work? It is using energy to get a job done. That is work. Okay, let's keep reading. Sometimes we work for ourselves. Sometimes we work for other people. Work can be fun. Why do people work? God made people to work. And what do we do when we work? We use energy to get the job done. Let's take a look at these pictures. Here's a picture of this little girl. We saw her a little earlier too. And what is she doing? She's folding clothes. She's using energy to get that job done. What about this lady? Can you tell what she's doing? Be sure you're looking at the picture in your book. You can look where I'm pointing and then look at your book. She's sanding some wood to make it smooth. Maybe it's going to be made into a chair or a table or maybe a play area for children. What about these men here? What are they doing? They're cooking. What about this little boy down here in the bottom of your page? He's moving a trash can, maybe moving it down to the curb until the garbage truck comes. All of these people are working. And who do people work for? We learn that sometimes we work for ourselves and our families. Sometimes we work for other people. Which pictures show people working for other people? Hmm. What about this woman who's sanding? 
Perhaps she's making this for other people. These things made from wood. Uh, the men cooking. Looks like they are at a restaurant, doesn't it? Cooking for other people. Who are working for themselves? Well, this little girl looks like she's folding her own clothes. The boy here taking out the family's trash can. Do you think that work can be fun? Now, some work isn't always fun. It just needs to be done. But you can try to make work fun. What about when you need to clean up your room? Maybe you can listen to a story or listen to your favorite music as you clean. That makes the work go faster and certainly makes it more fun. What about folding clothes? Hmm, I have a basket of some clothes here. Actually, they are a basket of socks. And let's see, how could we make this job fun? Maybe you could use a timer. I've got a timer here. And I have this basket of socks. And I'm going to see how many pairs of socks I can bundle in one minute. That would make the job fun. Let's see. Okay, so I'll set my timer for one minute. There it is. Okay, ready? Let's see how I do. Okay, I'm going to hit start. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at this one. It's got toes in it. Hmm. Let's see if we can find the match. Hopefully that's in my bat. Let's see. That's definitely not a match, is it? Uh, what about this one? Oh, it's very close, but nope. Different colors. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. We have a match. Our first one. Okay, I'll make that into a little bundle. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. That's a fun one. A little one, isn't it? Oh, look what I found. I found the match for this sock that has a toes. Now we have two. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. Oh, there's the match for that. What about this? There's the match. And a stripe one. There it is. Got a match for it. Oh, and there's the timer just went off. And let's see, how many did we get in a minute? We have one, two, three, four, five bundles. And in my basket, uh-oh, I have just one sock left. Mm. Sometimes there's just one sock left. I'll have to wait and see if I can find the mate for that one. Okay, so we have five bundles that we did in a minute. That was fun. So that made work fun, didn't it? Well, turn over to page 64. What we were doing is we were sorting those socks, weren't we? And that's the skill that we're going to work on. It is called sorting. It says, do you have a silverware drawer in your home? Do knives have their own place? Do spoons and forks go in other places? If they do, your silverware has been sorted. Sorting is putting together things that are alike. Did you hear a vocabulary word? Now, in your book, it has a suffix, I-N-G, but it is the word sort. Ah, that is our vocabulary word, sort. And what does it mean to sort? Putting together things that are alike. Say it with me, sort. And you can see that the shapes have been sorted into categories, haven't they? We sorted these socks today, didn't we? Hmm. Thanks for your help with that. <coughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, hi there, Captain. Well, hello. How are you? I'm doing great. What do you have here? Oh, I have a few items for them at home. I just need to organize them a wee bit. Well, can we help you? Oh, aye, that would be very, very helpful. I've got a few things for my kitchen, my shed, and a bedroom. Ah, well, let's see. Oh, I see you already have some bags here. Aye. Let's see. You've got things for your shed. Aye. You have things for your bedroom. Yes. And things for your kitchen. Correct. Ah, let me set them down here, and we'll see if we can help you organize these items. Here we go. Hmm. What do you have in here? Well, let's have a look. All kinds what of things. What is this? Ah, that is a spade. Do you know what that's used for? What? Ah, well, it's used for gardening. <laughs> yes, I use one of these, too. It's like a little shovel, isn't it? Aye. For digging in the dirt. So I think that would go with 
the shed, wouldn't you it? You are correct. Okay, so let's put it there. Oh, what is this? Oh, now you know what that is. <laughs> it's an alarm clock. And that would go where? Well, let's see. Um, Which not place? the kitchen, not the shed. Ah, the bedroom. Right. Aye. You have to use this so you're sure that you get up on time to Abs fly absolutely. your blimp, right? Okay, absolutely. let's put it there. Oh, what is this tool? This looks like fun. Oh, it looks like a mini ice cream scoop. But you know what? I use it to scoop out cookie dough. Oh, that'd be perfect Aye. for that. Mm, what kind Aye. of cookies? Oh, well, my favorite is chocolate chip. What ah, about you? Mine too. I love chocolate chip cookies. Where would you use this? Oh, um, well, let's see. I say the kitchen. The kitchen. So let's put that there. Good job. Oh, what about this? Little one spoon. Um, hmm. That's easy. Little spoon. Aye, the kitchen. The kitchen. Okay, let's set that there. Uh, oh, here's a book. Oh, it's a book about airships. You uh, like to do reading? Uh, yes, I, that's my favorite book. I like to read it when I try to go to sleep. So I think we'd go in the bedroom. Yep, let's put it right here by your clock. Okay, I think that'd be a good choice. What's this? Um, that is a small bull with a special name. Do you know what the name is? What is it? It is a ramekin. Ramekin. Aye. That's a fun word. And that's a fun little bowl, too. And I think you would use that which place? Ah, in the kitchen. The kitchen. Let's set it right here. Okay. What else do you have in here? Hmm. Uh, Looks like oh. a... Oh, oh, yes. It's Z a pack of seeds. It sure is. From Dawson Lawson, my favorite seed supplier. <laughs> and these are zinnias. Aye. I loved planting zinnias. I do, too. <laughs> and let's see. That would no, not the kitchen. Not the, ah, the shed. The shed. Mm -hmm. Let's put them there. Okay, and, oh, what about these? Um, those would be gloves. Now, do you think those would go in the kitchen or the shed? You have an idea? I don't use these kind in the kitchen. These are definitely gardening gloves, aye, aren't they? Or aye, work gloves. <laughs> Let's put them in the shed. I'll put Very them right good. here with these things. And, oh, what is this, oh, Captain? Oh, no, I forgot to put him in there. I forgot and left him in there. That is wincy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he kind of helps me go to sleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I <laughs> guess you can uh, put him in the bedroom. Yeah. Okay, he goes right here. Oh, that's a good place for him. Well, there we go. I think we have these things sorted for you. So oh. let me go ahead and open Hi. the bag. Yes, yes. I'll put the items yes. in here. Okay, so in the shed we have your gloves. Hi. And uh, your seeds. Oh, I love the seeds. Mm -hmm. And the spade. Yes, yes, you got to have that to plant the seeds. Okay, Let's see if I can fit it all in there. There we have the shed. And then for the bedroom, here we have this one. We have, oh, your alarm clock. Aye. That was the first item. And then we have your book. Aye, aye. Oh, I love it. On airships, and then we won't forget. No, 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 you can't forget <laughs> Wincy. We'll nope. put Wincy right Many in there. Many sleepless nights without him. <laughs> and then we have one left. It was the oh, bag for fantastic. the kitchen. And in the kitchen we have Aye. that little bowl. Aye, the ramekin. ramekin. That goes in there. And the spoon. Aye. And your cookie scoop. Oh, fantastic. There we go. Well, well I <laughs> want to say thank you very much. Now I can place the bags in the rooms they go to and put things away. Thank well, you. good. Yes. I'm glad that we could help you. I tell you what, let me put them all back oh, in your basket grand, so grand. they'll make it easy to carry. Sounds good. There we go. And there's the bag with Wincy in there for fantastic. you. Fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome, right. Captain. It's good to see oh, you. Good to see you, too, and I uh, best okay. be going on. Okay. See you later. All right. See you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> now it's time for you to take out your activities book. This is what page 55 looks like, and this goes along with our skill of sorting. The directions say, sort the things into groups by writing the words under what they are used for. Okay, so here you have lots of pictures. All right, you have a truck, a shirt, an apple, cheese, rabbit, shoes, dress, crackers, blocks. And the categories are clothes, food, and toys. So you're going to sort these items. If it's clothes, then you're going to write the word here on the line, okay?
So you'll have three here, three food items, and three toy items. So have fun with that sorting activity. You can finish this up after our lesson. Now in our next lesson, we're going to listen to a poem that will tell us about all the people who work so that we can have bread to eat. I'll see you then. Your assignment, Complete Student Activities, page 55.